Hello, my name is Malie Davis, and I would like to thank each and every one of you for taking time to stop through 40 Pieces of Me. Uh, today, I am going to revamp this cute little bottle tea light candle set. I found this set in Goodwill for a dollar and 99 cents. So that was an extremely good price. So what I'm going to do is revamp the, um, revamp the entire set uh, because I told you I was creating a bar tray, a mirror bar tray as well. So this is going to go along with the blinged out um, 3D wine glasses that I completed. And I know you're looking and saying, well, I may not be able to create this because this bottle um, is already cut. Don't think that you can't create it. Um, I just haven't displayed it as of yet. I was able to cut some bottles. I just so happened to run across this and purchase it like that. Um, but I was actually able to cut uh, some bottles in doing the Ciroc explosion. And this is the little handy dandy um, bottle cutter um, that you can purchase. I purchased this from Hobby Lobby. Um, I used a 40% 40, 40 off coupon, and I think it may have cost me like $15. Um, and it's just basically following the directions on the bottle cutter and then submerging the bottles in boiling hot water and transferring it over to a pot of ice cold water. And you go back and forth. Every bottle is not going to break perfect, and I will be honest with you. Some people, they it's up on like YouTube channels, or if you Google it, no, every bottle will not break because I'm really working with these bottles. So every bottle will not break perfect. So if this is something that you do decide to do, make sure that you do have several bottles uh, in case you don't get it right the first time. But we'll go over that on another um, YouTube video. But I just wanted to actually do this particular revamp with you. This revamp has tea light candles in it. And I prefer not to use the tea light candles after I've used glue or spray paint, anything of that nature. I just think it would be a flammable excuse waiting to happen. So we are going to remove the tea light candles. I don't even have the battery operated tea light candles today. So I had these little submergible LED lights and that's what I'm going to use for this project. So let's get to it. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I have already, already have one bottle outside um, that I sprayed. I just wanted to see how it was going to look because, of course, I don't have a lot of bottles um, to spray. So this right here, because I don't want everything to be too overwhelming uh, with just gold everywhere, this I'm actually going to spray a brown color since my colors in my living room are going to be... Um, chocolate lime green gold accents and i'm gonna sort of mix the metals not too much of the other metals and for some reason i keep saying throw a hint of peach in there don't know how that's gonna work but hey i might try it the only thing that beats a, a, a failure is if you don't try so basically the first thing i'm doing i am taping off this bottle um, and you've probably seen like the metallic gold wine bottles. I forgot the name of the brand, but it's some brand. Um, I looked, it's Bottega. That's it. It's Bottega. Um, I've seen that brand quite often. Let me take this right. I've seen that brand quite often and the bottles, I really just wanted it just because I thought the bottles were so absolutely gorgeous. Um, so that's what inspired uh, the metallic gold bottle. But of course, I want the light to still um, show from the tea light candle or the LED light. And I've already measure, measured the actual light. The light is going to be the same as if it was... Um, as if it was a tea light candle. It's not a, a large amount of light. And I think it's just an idea. Um, the thought of it basically. And that's just being honest about it. 
So basically, I just need to tape off the bottle and then I will go spray the bottle as well as I will be spraying um, the actual rack, as I stated, a chocolate color. And I want to apologize to you guys. I may um, repost the last video that I did when I saved it. I saved it as square and not as wide screen. Uh, so my last video is not of um, the best quality. Um, all of them are done on my cell phone. So that's, that's what happened with the last video. So I did want to apologize to you guys in regards to that. Seems like some people can tape and it's just actually perfect. Well, I'm not one of those people. But I still like to keep that portion in the video because I never want anyone to try um, a project that I do and think like, gosh, I'm having such a hard time. She did it so perfect. No, I have a hard time with some of these things too. So that's why I don't cut this part of the video because I want you guys to know that it's not always going to be extremely easy and you're not always going to get it right um the first time so now we have this taped off and i am going to step away i'm going to spray this a metallic gold and i'm going to spray this a chocolate and then we'll continue okay guys i've sprayed um both bottles uh the other one is out drying but, and what I was going to do, because I always try to create one, if I have two of an item, I try to create one first and then come back and create one with you. So what I wanted to show you, a little of the paint actually um, leaked down in between the tape. I'm actually just taking a Q-tip with uh, isotone fingernail polish remover and I just removed it. Um, so just wanted to let you know that the isotone uh, fingernail polish remover it works great on paint sometimes as well if the paint hasn't set for an extended period of time so i am going to and the color on that is absolutely gorgeous i'm going to go ahead and create this one and then i'm going to come back and create the other um with you guys as you can see i have one beauty that is complete um i'll put the camera up on the later i want to go ahead and get directly started with this one so we can cut the time of the video um i showed you how to clean it off earlier if you're going to not use bling or something so i'll just leave that on on there um and you'll see like sometimes where the paint drips don't worry about that this one came out almost perfect but like i said i don't have to have everything matching so what i am going to do is do a little artwork well i shall i shouldn't say artwork i am going to do some little add some acrylic paint to it and you'll never ever know uh that there was any type of uh paint drippings or anything of that nature so we're just going to start out i went ahead and cut the actual um bling wrap and no everything in my living room is not going to be blinged out uh i like bling but i don't want that much bling um but this right here is just a um particular decor that i'm doing with a drink tray so i do want things to coincide um with that So just going around it with the bling wrap. This is another simple uh, project as well. This is nowhere near as tedious as the uh, wine glasses uh, that we created. And I am going to remember like my love book told me to do and get um, the a bowl of ice water and have it near uh, for when I'm utilizing the glue gun. I'm going to remember that. I promised myself uh, that I was. <laughs> I hope you guys have had a wonderful uh, Saturday. 
my Saturday, it's been okay. Um, I went to a funeral. I found out on Thursday um, that my childhood friend, where they were actually like, her mom was like family, because uh, my mother was friends with her family. Uh, her mom passed away earlier this week, and the funeral was today. So I went to pay my respects. Um, it was a wonderful outpouring of people, and it made me question. Um, I think a lot of times when people pass away, we go through the motions. Um, death has been real present in my life lately, even in my city, uh, with just a lot happening. And it makes you question when people die. I tend now to ask myself, if you passed away today, would you be proud of the person that you were? Um, while I don't think that I'm a bad person, after going to her homegoing celebration, I had to say to myself, as I say oftentimes, girlfriend, you got some work to do. Um, we have to learn to be, as the pastor said, we have to learn to be really, really kind um, to people. We, we have to treat people how we desire uh, to be treated. And he, his message was about peace. And while I'm doing this, because you can still see uh, what I'm doing, I hope I don't offend anyone uh, by talking or sharing this message. Um, his message was about peace. And in speaking of peace, what he stated was, is that, and I'm going to line this up. What he stated was, is that a lot of us are not at peace with ourselves. A lot of us try to compensate peace with, uh, and we should have nice things. We should strive every day to have nice things. Uh, but a lot of us compensate peace with the best cars, or we live in a fancy house, and or we wear the, the best clothes, designer bags, designer shoes, and you know we have the most money. And sometimes we can look down on people, and we still go to church, and we we go to church mean. We leave church mean. We come home to our families and we mean. We're mean. Um, and he said it's simply because we're not at peace. And I had to think my financial situation is not the best. Um, I've never been married. And I'm, I'm, I'm hoping one day that I will um, find the, I won't say perfect person, but the perfect person for me. He'll accept my flaws and I'll accept his. But what I can say right now in my life, I am truly at peace. And that's one thing that I think was a great message, a uh, bad situation. But I was extremely happy that I went because it was an eye opener and just made me realize when I'm think I think I'm doing the best that I can do or I'm treating people the best that I can. I know that I still have some work to do. So. With that being said, we almost have the bottom wrapped. Um, I know you see that I've pulled out the glitter. We're going to do the glitter met method a little bit differently. Uh, as you can see, you can still see the lights blinking, uh, blinking inside of that particular wine bottle. Well, that's because I didn't go heavy on the glue. So I have another method that I am utilizing as well. Uh, with the with the glitter <laughs> and one of my YouTube uh, a youtuber that's my motivation and my inspiration um, she always helps me out design on a dime she was telling me um because some people have said, you know, put the glue on the bottle. Well, I don't work fast enough to actually do that. So I'm not able to put the glue on the bottle because then or on the actual material, I have to put it on the bling wrap because it just works out best for me. And she made me feel a little bit more comfortable because she told me um, she does the same because she feels like it dries faster when she puts it on the actual um whatever it is that she's going the bling wrap to. So 
that was good to know because I was worried that I was just the only one having that issue. So when it gets to the curve of this bottle, I cut more than what I actually needed because when it gets to the curve of this bottle, it can give you problems. Um, so I figured it out with the first one. That's why I always try to do a project uh, without you guys. Uh, do well one portion of it if it's more than one item um, to repeat on. Then that way I know that I, I, I know how to go about making it work better. Shall I say. And I know somebody may say, why does she continue to use these leaves? Well, I'm going to be honest with you. Sometimes I have no rhyme and I have no reason at all in this world. And I couldn't figure out why I continue to use those leaves. Well, then I realized the actual picture that is going on my wall that I base my, my color scheme off of, that picture is just chocolate with one green leaf on it. Um, so that possibly could have been why I continue to use those leaves, leaves subconsciously not even realizing it. So I am going to complete this top portion and then I'll come back to you in a couple of minutes so we can finish the rest of the process. It's completed. I added the bling wrap and um, I actually knocked this over right there, but we're not going to worry about that because I have a trick for that. But I added the green bling wrap as well. Um, so it turned out nice, but what I did was, let's see if I can not knock it over this time. I took and just mixed the gl uh, glitter together, gold and silver. And what I am going to do is just not a lot, but just going through, um, with the Mod Podge and I'm going to, um, glaze over it. Because I still want to be able to see um, the actual bottle that we didn't spray. And I'm just dipping my brush in the glitter. And I'm just painting almost like I'm, I'm painting over it as well. Because I just want that hint um, to make it look like, like I said, almost like diamonds. Very quick process. Um, not pouring it over it to give it just like a completely blinged out look. But we want it to be glossy as well. may need to add a little more um, Mod Podge if your brush is getting too dry. I have to get myself together. Every time I get a text message or a message and in regards to the funeral I went to today, I am just a big old crybaby. So I got to get it together. So, okay, we've done the bottom. Got a slight gloss to that. Now we'll go back and repeat it um, with the top. I'm 
Now I'm just going to go back over it with the glitter. And I'm just doing one stroke up so I can do it all at one time. And I don't have to continue to repeat the process. Okay, so that's all we'll do for that. Okay, so we have a good shine, but like I said, the paint actually dripped in certain places. So I'm using a lime green and a chocolate, the accent colors that I'm going to use in the living room. And I am basically, where did I do with my brush? This was my brush that I was using. I'm basically just going to... Um, dip my brush in it and lightly because once it's done it's done and i'm just going through and doing hints of and i should have gotten like a really extremely thin um paintbrush but i don't have a thin paintbrush so i'm gonna make do with what I have. Because it's mine. It's going to be in my place. So basically, I'm the one that has to like it. Maybe you wouldn't do it like this. And I would just say, do what feels creative to you. So now I'm going to just take the, the chocolate paint and I'm just going to do the exact same thing, making sure that I don't have too much. So now all the colors, and this just means that certain places throughout my living room, I'm going to have hints of the colors that I'm using. Okay, so now it's still seeming like maybe I don't like what she did. And everybody's, you know, we always entitled to our opinion. And that's what I love about my love bugs on this channel. If you don't like it and like that video was messed up today, my love bugs made sure they let me know. Um, so basically, that paint was a little bit larger than what I wanted it. So how I'm going to rectify that. Remember, we talked about a lot of things in life are flawed. And some things that appear to be perfect are not perfect. So this is how we're going to rectify that situation.
Okay, so just basically with my leaves again. Clip these, and I think earlier I said design on a dime, but it was design on a dollar because I gotta know because she she motivates me to do a lot of things, and if I don't have it right for you guys, she will she she gets me together in such a classy way so that I can be the best that I can possibly be. So I always want to make sure uh, that I shout her out. She's an absolutely wonderful person. If you guys haven't checked out her channel, I encourage you do not uh, deprive yourself. She is a wonderful lady. And if you go to her channel, you will see it's not just what she creates. It's her spirit. Uh, so I do want to encourage you guys to go over and visit her. And we will just add one last embellishment. And would be um, a blinged out sticker. And these are some great stickers. These stickers were purchased at Walmart in the craft section. Um, so definitely check these out because these were great and this is sticking up a little. Okay, so that's the blinged out bottle. Not too bad for one that didn't turn out perfect. Um, So they're not exactly alike, but I think they turned out gorgeous. Um, so we will do a project where I'll show you how you can cut the bottom half of the bottle. Uh, like I said, these were purchased that way. Um, I don't know whether someone did them, but I was happy because it was less work for me. But I will be fair to you guys and show you guys how to actually uh, cut the bottom off uh, the bottom half off of a wine bottle. Okay, so here is the finished result of our um, wine bottle uh, tea light candle um, set. Um, I think it is absolutely gorgeous. Um, everything appears to be coming together very nicely. I'm going to get the drink tray made within the next couple of days. I really have to uh, bulk it down and finish this Ciroc explosion. Um, but I think this turned out extremely nice. If this is a project that you enjoy please do me a favor by hitting the subscribe button. Tell somebody about me. Um, let them know what we're doing here at 40 Pieces of Me. Notice I said we um, because you guys are making me absolutely great. Uh, we have to believe in ourselves that we are great, but it works so much better when you have a family uh, that is extremely supportive of you. Um, once again, uh, remember, as we go about the rest of our evening and we go about our days going forward, uh, continue to ask yourself the question, if I was to close my eyes tonight, would I be proud of the person that I was before I closed my eyes? If you cannot answer that 100%, yes, I'm proud of every single thing I do, then just like me, you have some work to do also. Once again, my name is Malik Davis. I am so happy that you decided to spend some time with me. Thank you guys for stopping in at 40 Pieces of Me.